You guys probably remember this place from some of the previous videos. Uh, I've hunted here several times with the CTX 3030 and the Deus. But today I've got the Equinox with a little six inch coil. I'm just poking around here, seeing, what, seeing if I can find anything that I missed before. Uh, I've been here about 15 minutes and so far all I've got is, it looks like a little watch there. Half of one anyway. I'm gonna keep on going. If I get anything else, I'll let you know. That one rang up 19 on the Equinox. It was about three inches down. U.S. collar disc. So there's still targets here. Hopefully we'll get on some silver. All right, I'll get back with you on the next. Just got that on a 22 signal. Uh, just about two or three inches down, not very deep. But that's, uh, looks like an Alabama state sales tax token or a luxury tax token. We'll get it cleaned up a little better and take a look at it in the wrap up. Got a really choppy 20 signal right there and out pop a little ring. It's just a junker, but still pretty cool. A pretty solid 12 signal right there. And I guess about four inches down, popped out a buffalo nickel. Can't make out a date right now, but we'll see if we can't get one and post it in the wrap up. Right next to where I got the buffalo, I just popped out a wheat scent. I mean, maybe three, four inches over away from it. So those were probably lost together. Nice green one. Eleven. Pretty shallow. That's a little tiny buckle. That one's hovering around a 20 or 21. It's a coin, I can see it. That's gonna be a wheat scent. Yeah, it's just a wheat penny. Sort of a jumpy 1920 signal. Ground is really dry, so it's difficult to dig a good plug, but the place belongs to a friend of mine and he said he's not worried about it, so I'm not worried too much.
That one's crusty, whatever it is. It's green. I can't tell if it's a wheat or an Indian. Give it a little spit shine. That's an Indian head. Nineteen twenty signal, about five, six inches deep. Andy. Yeah, I see the edge of a coin there. That's a wheat scent. Yep, not going to get a date off that one, but it is a wheat. It's a solid 12. There it is. Just saw a nickel pop out of there. <clears throat> That's another buffalo nickel. Kind of an iffy one, it's only hitting good in one direction, but I'm gonna dig it anyway. <laughs> pinpoints right, it pinpoints right where I heard the high tone. That's an easy way to spot fossing iron, it'll the pinpoint will be off several inches, two three inches away from uh where you heard the high tone. Impossible to dig a decent plug here. There's a target, whatever it is. That looks like a little, little miniature horseshoe. Really choppy one hitting up in the 30s and all the way down in the teens. Thank <laughs> you. 
lot better now that we've opened it up. A little butterfly. That might be silver. It's got a stamp on the back, but I can't see it. I can't see it well enough to read it. All right, we'll get a better look at it later. I believe that could be a piece of silver. Awesome. Not a jumpy one, but it's trying to stick around the 20. There's a coin. That's going to be a wheat cent. Yep. That's a couple of signals close together, but there's a nice little high tone in there. Whatever it is, is in that clump. Ah, that's a little ring. I believe it's silver too. It's shining up pretty good. All right, let me get it cleaned up and I'll, I'll add a picture. So I was 19. There's 
right on the surface or something big. Oh, look at that. Little tiny fork. Seems to be made of aluminum. There's a nice little high tone in the low 20s. About the size of a coin. There it is. That's a wheat penny. Okay guys, we'll do a quick wrap up. I got the usual junk items, pull tabs, can slaw, little bits of aluminum, nails, that kind of stuff. Uh, random pieces of junk pieces of a uh, harmonica reed uh, I believe that's part of a lipstick tube some other kind of reed there a marble there's a little aluminum fork what's left of a cap gun uh, I believe this is also a lipstick tube uh, there's the watch you saw at the beginning of the video there's some clad uh, wheat pennies I think I got let's see one two three four five six seven eight wheat cents there is the U.S. collar disc, Alabama sales tax token. I got two buffalo nickels. One of them was a 1929, and the other one, I couldn't get a date off of it. I got the uh, 1906 Indian head penny. Um, I originally thought this was a horseshoe for the world's tiniest horse, but now that I think about it, it's probably a heel plate or a woman's shoe or something like that. I'm not really sure. Uh, there's the junk ring. I didn't get any silver coins, but I did manage to get two pieces of sterling silver. That's the little child's ring there. Had something inscribed on the inside, but I couldn't make it out. I also got the sterling butterfly. So that's about it. Um, really happy with a little six inch coil. It performed really well. You know, you're gonna lose probably two or two and a half inches of depth and a little bit of ground coverage compared to the stock 11 inch coil. But what you're gonna gain is the ability to get in between jump targets like a laser beam. Uh, a couple of side benefits is the detector balances a whole lot better with this coil and it's a little bit lighter. It also makes it a lot easier to pinpoint, so really happy with that. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Happy hunting, and I'll see you next time.